Those that are coming in on the light greetings, welcome. Thank you for joining. This is a general collective greeting. All zodiacs, masculine, feminine, men, women, past, present, and or future, depending. Set your own intentions. Use your own internal guidance system as it pertains to the reading. What are they hiding from you? Who are they? So they is gonna be someone different for everybody. What are they hiding from you? Usually when people are asking the question, yeah. I just saw abundance or something to do with abundance in the reverse. They're hiding money. Yep, financial constraints. They're hiding money. They're hiding their financial situation. Journey, financial constraints. Something to do with money automatically. <laughs> Most of the time when people are asking that question, it's because the intuition is already telling them something is not jiving, right? Thank you for the love or the, the rose. Most of the time when people are asking the question within themselves, what are they hiding? Referring to someone or a group of someone's, okay? The reason why we're usually doing that, now, now mind you, I'm saying usually, is because something is just not right. Something is not jiving. You know, it may look pristine on the surface, but something is off. Something is not adding up. And the intuition keeps nudging or the gut instinct keeps nudging, okay? Or your ancestors or whatever you equate this to is letting you know there's offness. Right? And again, when I use these words, I'm not talking about people's belief systems. I'm talking about there's something, there's some type of foul play. Okay? Something's not right. Door to value, patience. What are they hiding? Deceit? Ooh. There it is. They're hiding deceit. They're hiding with this patience energy. It could be an illness. It could be a mental illness. It could be that they have a mental illness. And that mental illness causes them to um, operate in deceit as a normal, meaning like that's just who they are all together. You know what I'm saying? Not every once in a blue moon is like they're just, they're mentally ill. No disrespect, but there's like a severity with this patience. And they could be hiding that. They could have, like if this is the past. Man holding coin in the reverse. Here it is. They could be hiding that they made somebody sick. They stole something from a man, or this could be this man. The man could be sick. They could have got robbed. Somebody was um, materialistic and money hungry. So what are they hiding? That they were materialistic and money hungry, greedy, and perhaps mentally unwell. Somebody could be sick and could have lost money. What are they hiding from you? Indecision is in the reverse, patience. Ah. There's no more confusion about um, whatever this was or is. Or they could have, somebody could have decided to wait on something because they're sick. Or they got robbed or something to do with money. Here it is, the thinking man in the reverse. What are they hiding from you? 
they did something, either they chose to do something to a man to make him unwell, or this is a man that is unwell. Whatever decisions they made could have either put this person to an end or caused them to get sick in some way. Y'all quiet, huh? What are they hiding? Ancestors helping out. Previous man holding heart. Okay. What are they hiding? Man holding heart is coming out. Masculine energy already showing up. What are they hiding? Anxiety is coming in the reverse. Those that are in love and light, please do continue to share, like, and support. Those who are not, I'm inviting you to leave. Um, wow. Yeah, somebody could have got sick or a disease here with second chakra in the reverse. And then the first chakra here in cornucopia, somebody's unhappy. It's in the reverse. Um, thank you for sharing the love, whoever decided to share the love there. Okay. But why? That's weird. Anxiety's in the reverse. What are they hiding? Can I get one more from this deck, please? What are they hiding? One more from this deck? Please, ancestors. Okay. Okay. Now, here we go. Man holding coin in the reverse. We got two masculine energies here. One is in the upright, one is in the reversed. Then I have strategy. Financial constraints, woman holding coin in reverse. This could be to do with a karmic couple and karmic parents, okay? That's materialistic, money hungry, shallow, surface superficial. Um, people that marry for stacked, uh, yeah, something to do with them. And some financial constraints and strategy. Okay, before I even go in deeper, I want to do something real quick. So just bear with me, okay? Before I get layers of the read, I wanna get something determined right away. Couple of things I wanna know. Is the man holding heart and man holding coin, pendulum please, ancestors back this up. Oh, I said it would be better if I did it this way. The man holding the heart and the man holding coin in the reverse, I need to know, is this the same person, yes or no? Is it the same person based on this um, chart here? I need a yes or a no. Based on the directions on this chart, is it a yes or a no, please? Ancestors, back this up. Is it a yes or a no? Is this the same person? Interesting. It is. All right, so then let me ask this. Is this man, a man, a physical, biological man? In this reading, yes or no? This man holding heart and man holding coin reverse, is this a biological man? Are they a biological, physical man, yes or no? For the majority of the collective, yes or no? Okay, so that's a yes as well. What are they hiding from you? Is men holding coin in reverse indicative of a divorce or a separation? Is it coming out in reverse because there's been either a breakup, divorce, or separation? 
Yes or no? Is this why it's coming out reversed? Some kind of breakup, divorce, or separation? That's also a yes. Interesting. What are they hiding from you? Where are they hiding? I wonder what kind of read this gonna be, bitch. Shit. I'm used to the other kind of reads. I'm like, okay. Well, it looks like we have a divorce. Oh, I know. They could have got got great papers as well. Okay, somebody's like, yeah. But why is anxiety reversed though? So it's it looks like there was some kind of anxiety. Maybe somebody faced their fears and they broke up with somebody. Okay? Whoever's sending the love and the, and the flowers, thank you. So a man, we've, we've established that it is a man. We've established that they're one of the same. We've established that it's indicative of some type of a breakup or a divorce. Anxiety's in the reverse. Strategies at the bottom of the deck. Financial constraints. Oh, they took them for their papers. So he could have divorced this person. Because remember what I said? Like, okay, they could have divorced this woman holding a coin in the reverse. Or having a strategy or this person. Yeah, there's hostilities. They took them for their papers or stole their shit or something. Because I got the hostilities. There was a fight, door to romance, woman holding a coin, financials. What are they hiding though? Okay, let me just get more. Okay, I got the basics of what I needed. This is one person, it's a man. Okay. All right. It's a man. Breakup. This also could be loss. Maybe somebody, again, somebody's not scared of loss. Somebody's not scared in anymore. Maybe they were. Maybe they were. What are they hiding? Hamster wheel. There it is. Okay. So something to do with money. Surviving daily hustle. Something to do with money. Now it could be the karmic woman hiding money from the man. Or the man hiding money. Oh boy. Or having some kind of money issues. Loss. Money loss. Man holding heart. Man holding. Obsession is in the reverse. Somebody, okay. Yeah. Somebody overcame something here. Man holding heart. Why is obsession in the reverse? Man holding heart. Why is this? Oh. 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 <laughs> now I'm gonna stop. Okay, so well, 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 somebody, a man holding heart, has got nightlife, gamble, take a risk, obsession, reverse, soul, moving, physical, location, change. Okay, so maybe a man holding heart is overcoming their addictions and their fears of change especially with this anxiety and reverse maybe they were over concerned with money instead of following their heart because they're they're one and the same and it could have been addictions that were keeping them whether it was addictions to money since money is coming out or something with the house for some of you, something with Vegas. <laughs> Nightlife, gamble, take a risk. 
Obsession reversed. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So somebody don't want to wait anymore. Okay, but well, what is it that they're hiding, bitch? What the hell? Anyway. Anxiety reversed. I'm thrown off by this read. <laughs> okay. Financial support. Ah. This could have been what they were hiding or are hiding. It was something, remember I kept saying it was something based with financials, something around financials. Now, anxiety is coming in reverse. Maybe they're no longer afraid of either releasing some money they were getting or losing some money because of a, a, a separation. Maybe because, yeah, this is weird. Not the kind of reading I thought it was going to be. Deadline, time, running out. Okay. Maybe they realize, this person could be realizing that time is actually running out. Whatever that means. And so they're facing their fear. Man holding coin. So let's see this aspect of the same man. Man holding coin reverse. What happened? Man holding coin. Okay. Commitment in the reverse. I told y'all it was a breakup, yo. Uh, told y'all. It was something that was long-standing. It says long-term relationship reversed. And this is what they're hiding. That they were stuck. They had, they were stuck. Oh, there it is. Done is in the reverse. Interview and irreconcilable differences. Okay, and then love in reverse. Dang. Okay, so this is the whole shebang bang. Okay, ah, they had got caught up in a situation here. They was not learning their lessons, and this is what they could have hid from you in the past. Oh boy, here we go. This is what they could have hid in the past that they had some kind of a complicated shit. Okay that they were trying to finish up okay but it wasn't because they they hadn't learned their whole lesson here they could be somebody could be wanting to talk to someone about that that they're getting divorced um that there was a loveless situation or they're breaking up separating getting a divorce it was an actually loveless situation could have been just based on image looks money sex clout um, and that's why they did not come to offer you all something, a proposal, um, because they were stuck in this. It could have been paid or shit. I don't know. Especially with this money shit, they, you know, somebody could have came in and started offering them big money, you know, so that they can come towards them and, and take a risk like, Ooh, we can have money. You know, we can have a house. I'll buy you all the snacks. And we, somebody may say somewhere, like, why is she always sitting at snacks? <laughs> because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, snacks, weed, sandwiches. Um, <laughs> shit. Game systems, whatever it is. Because see, for each of them, it's probably something different for these men. But... Whatever it was, my fuck came in with the package. They didn't, they didn't tell them that it was poison in it. But it came, it came with a package, bitch. Like, boom, bitch, let's do this. <laughs> this could be why they didn't commit to you all. Maybe they're hiding in the past what they hid, why they were non-committal. It's because they were actually in some kind of loveless situation shit. Okay. I'll put it that way. Ah, uh, magnetic is in the reverse. They were in they were in something that they didn't even really want. This is kind of sad. Um like whatever this was for them, they they were not really attracted to this person. Attraction is in the reverse. Um, it was based on some other shit. It, it really was. 
or is. I mean, it just depends on how this is playing out. Where are they hiding? Tragedy. So this is why they couldn't come towards some of you too, because people could have forbid it or something, forbidden love. And based on whatever this situation shit was, or is, okay, they popped up. Some oh shit, something went down, bitch. Okay. Yeah, they don't want, they don't, they are embarrassed by whatever they got themselves into. They're embarrassed by this motherfucker. Now, threatened and embarrassed and lust is in reverse. They not even with it. Maybe they was before, but now they're like, ugh. Or they could have embarrassed them, okay? They could have did something to embarrass them that caused them to no longer, they did something to them to embarrass them, so it then caused them, this man, whoever it is for y'all, to no longer want this feast, whoever it is. Okay. Those that are in love and light, please do still send that love and light energy. Please continue to tap on the screen. And certainly those who are seasoned and in the knowledge and know about lunatics and psychopaths and dark witches and warlocks coming into videos and lives doing their weird nigga bitch shit. Do your returning to sender on behalf of the collectives and on behalf of the reading. Okay? And our children and our homes and our spaces because these low lives, like I said, they go on to videos every single day. They sit and they wait. They go on to lives, they go on to people's shit so they can concoct and do their weird shit, okay? It's like clockwork. So we need to be like clockwork too. When we're coming into these lives and we're high livers, we need to know that just as surely as we're there, you got some low lives in there as well. That's sending group chats and doing their weird nigga bitch shit. Okay? We're gonna make them work collective. They wanna be fucked up? We gonna, we gonna make them fucking work. Okay? We're gonna tear them a new one. Gonna make them wish they never spell spell. All right, bye bye birds. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I do. My seasoned folks out there that's been in the game longer than me. You, maybe you got a little bit more access to more resources than I do at this time. I appreciate you too. All right. Thank you. Let's amplify our high soul energy, bitch. Ah, okay, anyway. I'm going to be good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to stop now. They be this, right? Y'all know the game. Y'all know how this go. Childbirth screams is coming out. Thank you for the followers. It's coming out in the reverse. So I don't know. It could have been something to do with a baby. A man could have thought he was having a baby with one of his endeavors. Okay? But you know, I'll just say it like that. And it's in reverse, so either somebody could have either lost the baby, you know, that's kind of sad. They could have either lost the baby or a man could have found out uh, that it wasn't his if there was a baby or some, something like that. Or it was a game or there was never a baby to begin with or, you know what I'm trying to say? Ooh, child. Uh -huh, child. Uh -huh. What are they hiding? Man holding heart column. What are they hiding? Man holding heart column. What are they hiding? Man holding heart column. 
Pull out method is in the reverse. Chamber of secrets. Oh. They, yeah, they had thought, they had thought they got somebody pregnant. Second column, anxiety reversed. Second column, anxiety reversed. What are they hiding? Second column, anxiety reversed. Damn. They jumped over there to strategy. Second column, anxiety reversed. Double, oh, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> this was something definitely based on sexual lust in some cases. Money and sex. This could have been some kind of a, you know, no judgment. Everybody treats their lives, right? But it was some kind of a open where, you know, y'all, they do, you know what I'm saying, threesomes, foursomes, twelvesomes. It could have happened under house arrest because I have house arrest ankle bracelets. Somebody could be on house arrest or was behind some shenanigans with these people. Man holding coin, call them in the reverse. Man holding coin, what are they hiding from the collective? Man holding coin, call them in the reverse, what are they hiding? Ooh, porn is coming in reverse. See, somebody is trying to clean up serotonin, yeah. They have a porn addiction and somebody trying to clean it up. Somebody don't, don't want it anymore. That could have been a shared issue. This this person could have uh, had porn addictions and sex addictions that they use to help their chemicals with the serotonin here and depression and the reverse. But now they don't desire that. Whatever that was, is, I mean, Possibly, 
okay? Got caught up in some kind of financial situation and there was some open sex shit going on, bitch. Okay? Ah. Lord, restraining order. Wow, dang, for real, for real. A thimble of virgin blood, yeah, because they weird. Satanic ritual, thimble of virgin blood, restraining order. Pouring on in the reverse. Somebody got caught. Yeah, they was using, ugh. Ugh, man. Okay, so this, okay. So what they're hiding is some this motherfucker. Let me ask this, so before I even go for that, I want to play, figure out who, okay? Because you're saying, what are they hiding, right? I'm trying to determine, I haven't got Tarot yet to come out to see more of the players, but I'm trying to figure something out myself. Uh, I'm like, oh, uh-uh-uh, honey cow. This could have been, like I said, it could have been in the past and it could very well be this man that hid this chamber of secrets that had to do with addiction. It had to do with drugs, sex, and rock and roll. It had to do with weird nigga bitch rituals from people that do weird nigga bitch rituals, okay? Uh, the person that's hiding something in this reading Because we're asking, what are they hiding? Is it this man, the man holding heart and coin in reverse that's hiding something? Is it them that's hiding something? I need a yes or no team. Based on this chart, based on the chart, is it them? I need a yes or no. Oh, shit. It's going, y'all, y'all not watching the, the thing on this chart. It, it's going another direction. Oh, 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 oh. What the hell? Cause see on on this chart, y'all can't see it, but on this chart, this is yes, yes, no, no. So if it's, it's going like that, yes, no. Maybe rephrase. Now wait, and it went this way. Interesting. So I gotta get some more here because I'm like, no. What are they hiding? What are they hiding? They get this from him. They could have get it from him. They, 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 they get it from him. They or they, okay. They get it. They get it from him. Since y'all said it's not him hiding, is it these karmic energies that he got involved with that was hiding? Is it these karmic energies that's hiding shit, hid shit and hiding shit, hid shit and hiding shit? Wow. Now it's going back straight up and down again to the yes. Interesting. So it's the karmics that this, whoever collective men this is, that they got themselves involved with, with this chamber of secrets, okay? Something ended up getting to a level of needing a restraining order. Okay, or it was a setup. They could have possibly set them up. Jesus Christ. All right.
When I get the tarot, it's really gonna help me. It's gonna really help old Bloomy alone. My ancestors back me up. Reconciliation. Something could have, oh boy. Somebody could have used the honeymoon and a reconciliation to set up these men. It was a deception. They were wearing a false mask. So a mask could have got engaged. And it was nothing but deception. Yeah. The person didn't even really want them or vice versa. It was something based on deception. Because I have passion reverse. Okay. It was just addiction. From what it's looking like, it was just weird old addiction energy. Like addictions and party and weird rituals and shit. So a masculine could have ended up getting himself involved with that kind of shit. And these people had all these secrets. They were hiding things from him. They were doing satanic rituals on him. Jesus Christ. And then going to church. <laughs> Shit. Kind of weird ass. Anyway. Y'all know I'm finna go there. Somebody is fucking weird. And they call it tarot reader real weird. They, they watch tarot. They don't tell nobody. <laughs> Hell, some of them here. Doing their rituals and then going to Tuesday morning prayer. Chemistry is in the reverse. Okay, so there was no, it wasn't even love. It was no love. There was actually no legit chemistry. It was addictions and secrets and money and sex. That was it. Unrequited love wedding. 
Unrequited love is coming in the reverse, though. They could have been trying to act like they, they, oh, the Chamber of Secrets is the man holding coin could have loved somebody else as well. Chamber of Secrets, Unrequited Love, reversed. Reverse wedding, retreat, reverse passion, but there's no passion. How is that possible? Okay. They could have been trying to convince this man that they love them. To get them to marry them. A masculine could have thought that's all they deserve. Since I got you deserve love reverse. Anxiety, reverse. Anxiety, reverse. Column. Chemistry, reverse. Wedding. Yeah, it was just, this shit was. They could have hid, okay, here's another thing. Since they hid something from this man, they could have been hiding that they didn't even really want him. And see, but I say this in a lot of readings anyway, and I think it goes over most people's heads when I'm saying it. Like, people be looking at this obsessive behavior of these karmics, like some kind of indication of they must love so much. Actually, it has zero to do with it. These people are power hungry. They're power hungry, they're control freaks, okay? They're money hungry. They're, they're only looking to win at all costs. They have a mind of a child, okay? So it has nothing to do with they're just so in love. Like they could have possibly not even wanted this man, okay? They could have just used his sex addiction, his drug addiction, whatever these shared addictions that they all had, they could have just used that to trick him, all right? get them entangled, to get them thinking that they loved him or whatever the fuck, okay? But it says here, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. It's in the reverse. There, there was no magnetic nothing. None. It was addictions. A nut. Money. Control, power. They could have used it to have power and control over this man. Keep an open mind in the reverse. They're very closed minded. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. All right. Fast forwarding a masculine with this anxiety in the reverse, they could have eventually got there. Okay, soulmate, yeah. Worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. So a masculine could have eventually uh, caught a fucking clue, okay? Caught a clue. These people could have, uh, been using him, they themselves could have had other soulmates. You know what I'm saying? That they keep, they kept hidden from the masculine here. Man holding coin in the reverse. New love. Yeah. Love yourself first. Boom. Thank you. Trust is in the reverse. Okay. So there's a situation. Okay. They hid something from this masculine. They were not trustworthy. They were not trustworthy and they hid it, okay? These people themselves have, you know, esteem issues. They really don't love themselves. They may be arrogant. They may be vain. They may be all those things, but they don't truly love themselves. Because if they did, they wouldn't be participating in half of the shit in which they are. Okay? So, 
This mask one could have had esteem issues, okay? This masculine needed to love himself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? Trust is in the reverse, absolutely. Healing family issues. These people have major problems. Family's fucked. And not in a way that everybody's family got something. I'm talking about some weird nigga bitch, toxic, hateful, heinous, evil, wicked, low life shit. Okay, I'm talking about that low down dirty scoundrel. Okay, not in a way where everybody's got a little something. Nah, we talking about lifetime movie, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Crazy. Thank y'all. Those of you coming in, sending positive vibes, please keep it pushing, keep it going. Put the fire on them, y'all. To my seasoned folks, put fire on these motherfuckers. Put fire on them. They come in here and fucking with us, put fire on them. You have the green light to do as you're divinely guided to do to these motherfuckers. Amplify supportive energy for the high life collective and yourself. Of course, me, readers like me, and our children and our home and our space. I'll even add our dream space. Put fire on their ass. They want to infiltrate? <laughs> Make them wish they knew it. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. All right. What they were hiding from this man, that it was a strategy and a plan the whole time to steal from him, to take from him. It was a plan the whole time to get him to invest in them, to get money out of him or some type of a resource or to use money and resources to entrap him to do the things in which they were doing. What they're hiding, what they hid is that that was a plan. That was an investment. It was an actual strategy. So whatever shenanigans that they portray, like you know, this fake love and fake you know, let all that shit nah. That was a, that was his plot. They were always planning to rob him in, on some level. They are always planning to steal on some level, whether it is time, opportunities, resources, money, whatever it was. It was always a plan from the beginning. Could it have been to do with the house so that he would take a risk and gamble? Because people were really, I told y'all a couple years ago, them scams was kicking in strong when people start getting them stimuluses and economic unemployment packages and all whoopie woo. So some people was using that to suddenly fall in love and I called them COVID relationships because now all of a sudden the motherfuckers is coming out the woodworks because they know motherfuckers is getting stimulus checks and all this shit, bitch. And now they in love and shit, let's do this again. Let's do give it one more try, bitch. Let's whoopie whoop, bitch. Because they want that money. If they knew somebody was getting unemployment. And now all of a sudden they in love. If they knew somebody was going to be getting that 600 plus, boom, bitch. Or whatever the programs were for businesses and woohoo, you got the scam con artists that was doing that shit. Yeah, I know. That was doing that shit. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> to get this man to pour love into them, right? They don't want to take care of their damn self. Or take it in reverse, you know what I'm saying? If they wanted to use that shit 
to, you know, take advantage of a vulnerable man in a situation was like, they use that situation to try to look, I got a stimulus check, come over here, I can buy you a big screen TV, I can buy you, you know what I'm saying, I'll give you this money, and you know, but it ain't shit to do with love, it was a trap. We can have threesomes. You want you want to sleep with another girl? We can do it. No judgment, y'all. Don't get upset. But I'm just saying, people were using this. They were they were playing on people's addictions, people's issues, or people's fantasies, knowing full well they didn't have good intentions from the beginning. I'll give you money and have threesomes. This is the perfect scenario. Don't I love you so much? What I'm willing to do for you? I'm willing to have threesomes and give you money. That must mean I love you the mostest. No, it means you're an addict. Codependent, control freak. Lacking self-love. First call on man holding heart. Somebody that loves the man, this man wouldn't want him to be subject to himself to things that are harmful. People have this whole love thing all fucked up and twisted. Somebody that loves someone would not be wanting someone to put themselves in harm's way for no reason. For no amount of money. For no amount of clout and for no amount of nothing coming. Orgasms. They would not put that person, they would not want to put them in harm's way. In other words, risk them possibly getting other motherfuckers pregnant because shit happens when you live this kind of lifestyle. People need to get a grip. It's fun until it's not fun almost. Shit happens when you take on that life, okay? Everything is, is not gonna always go according to plan when you take on those types of lifestyles. Accidents happen. People's birth control no longer work. Condoms have issues. Uh, some people are not mentally well in the first place and they're trying to baby trap anyway. You know what I'm saying? There's just so many factors that you can't control with this kind of life. People go outside of the little setup because you can't monitor them 24 fucking seven. They go outside of the setup. Now they bring in some nasty, some, some other shit, bitch. And then they crazy, the lunatic, they then went over there and fucked. Ace of Wands, this person could have had a sex addiction, like I said. They could have taken advantage of the man's sex addictions and they themselves could have had addictions. Jesus Christ. Lovers is coming out. Second column. Dang. What they hid. So they could have hid that they were not over an ex. They could have also hid this from this man that they themselves were not over an ex or that they themselves um, had something else going here or, yep, investing in other places. Eight of Cups reverse. Last column. The fool in the reverse. This could also be codependency, emotional codependency. Aries, Gemini, Leo. The moon in the reverse. Illusions, spell work. They were hiding spell work. 
They were hiding that they secretly do rituals. We have satanic ritual. And we have thimble of virgin blood. So that's somebody who's trying to sacrifice somebody. Blood sacrifices. Okay. They could have been trying to sacrifice the innocent, which, Lord, we're going to wrap some shit around them heads. Good and plenty for that shit. That was dumb as fuck. The dumbest thing they did. But these people could be satanic ritualists that sacrifice innocent lives. This was hidden. Okay? They're also crazy. Illusion, drug addicts. Okay, with this moon in the reverse, King of Wands, another Aries. Okay, but this could have got exposed because the moon reversed over time, they could have got exposed. Okay, oh boy, got the color. <laughs> this is all fire over here. Okay. We have the Fool in the reverse, Aries. We have Strength, Leo. And then we have Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, over here, we got Eight of Cups reverse, the Chariot, and Ten of Swords. Oh, boy. Coming out in the reverse. So something happened. A masculine could have been trying to overcome his fear and move on. Okay, but what was hidden from him is they were setting him up to betray him. They were trying to betray him so that he would have to come back to them. Eight of Cups reverse. So that he would be stuck. Basically. And it could have been something to do with travel. Or a car. Or just indicative of when he decided to move on. Then... They did something to cause, they hid that that's what they were doing. They hid that that's what they were planning. They could have acted like it was all good. Cause see, lunatics, that's what they'll do. They'll sit there and smile at you and act like it's all good. You know what I'm saying? For you to move on and then they have somebody to come over them and slice them tired, tire, you know, them brake lines. Okay, or they'll be sprinkling shit in your food and Kool-Aid, you know what I'm saying, while they're smiling at you. I'm like, it's all good, it's all good, you know what I'm saying, it's cool, I understand, you know. You want to move on, you're saying, you want to move on, you're saying, you know what I'm saying, you want this to be over, okay, that's, that's fine, you know. I'm hurt, but all right, no, they ain't all right because they have control problems. They lunatics. They could have constantly be trying to get this person caught up in shit. It was hidden. It was always a plan to portray them too. See, they could have been fooling these men, getting them and doing all kind of toxic shit. But what they were hiding is that they were planning to betray them anyway. It wasn't just whatever fucked up shit that they had them involved with, that the plan was to fuck them over. Once they got through. So that it, when the rubber meets the road, when all shit hits the fan, all evidence would somehow land on him. Because these people use, these types of people have pawns. So when the shit does hit the fan, just in case, they would have strategically had this all set up to where the shit is going to still point back to this man. Though it was their whole plot to begin with. They just used them. Okay. Yeah, three of cups. They did this. They did this with um partying. Yeah, they lied. Page of Pentacles reverse, three of cups. They lied to get a man to break up with somebody. This man holding the heart that could have possibly had real love for someone else. Or was loving. So they lied. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. They did spells. They did a love spell on him. They did a love spell on him. Okay? They did chaos spells.
to cause him to either break up with someone or to basically just force a breakup because of whatever chaotic energies that they were doing with their weird nigga bitch shit. And then they went to church on Sunday and Wednesday. said hey oh they fell out on the ground oh shit oh god i got this got the spirit so what ended up happening was eventually a man holding the heart didn't want to do it anymore they they wrecked his confidence not the ones they caused him to get sick they could have poisoned him yeah here's the practitioner right here High priestess, they were hiring practitioners. They were seducing in secret to lure him into some kind of commitment. They were, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, they were doing rituals and shit to cause unhappiness in the dark. All this shit was done in the dark. I got high priestess the Hierophant and Sun in reverse. So they were secretly poisoning this man. They were fucking his friends. They were do doing things to cause instability. They could have attacked him or had him attacked to uh, by a king of wands in secret, a bully, okay? And that was the plan. They planned that shit. Because they could have tried to make it look like this shit was incidental. Like it was, you know, uh, happenstance. But no, this shit was a plan. And they were celebrating at the fact that they got this, they um, caused disruption in a connection. Three of Cups. This is when you know you're dealing with low lives. And I don't care how tall they Bible is. And how much they go around talking about what God said. Like I said earlier on my live, our religion and spirituality is not an automatic badge of honor if we're fucked up. So, dismiss. Miss me with that shit. They don't need to pray nothing. They need to put their hands in their damn pocket. Shut up. Go get that mind, that brain looked at. And why are you able to be fucked up and think ain't nothing wrong with it? Some of y'all, it's this is family. It could have been his family involved, okay? Because so far, I don't have the only, I got one court card and a couple of major arcana, yeah, a few major arcanas out. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this was always a plan to slow somebody down. All of this was a, essentially, it was a plan to slow someone down. All of it. Get them hooked in through addictions. Get them hooked in through sex. Get them hooked in through money and houses and clout. Get them hooked in through all of these fantasies and all this shit to slow down their healing, their awakening, and their development and then from being able to overcome the ego or their addictions. 15, I looked up, devil. To slow down and to try to um, put an end to the competition or remove options. They didn't want somebody to have any options. 
a masculine could have figured this out over time with seven of cups reversed that they were trying to create confusion and he could have decided he no longer wanted to be bothered and of course this is when people you know put that that lunatic narcissistic glare on their face oh it's all good sure you can go Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, these people are greedy. The shit was one-sided to begin with. Okay? They did not have any insight or introspection, so they lack this with this Virgo energy in the reverse. They have poor judgment altogether. They're fucked. They're just fucked. And the judgment's final. The judgment is in the reverse. Her, uh, hermit reverse. These people lack proper judgment and insight. Some people got, uh, I think I heard a new term in the narcissistic community uh, where it's uh, betrayal blindness. These people are oblivious. That's why I'm like, they need to, they need to go get the, the brains checked. You know what I'm saying? They need to go get them brains checked. That's got them feeling okay. This is when you must, you gotta know something's off. Okay? They might as well put down all of these spirituals, whatever the fuck they are, and, and they need to go get them brains checked. Because how the hell anything in you think that this kind of fucked up shit? You can just cover up with a Bible. And think this shit is all right. They wanted to stop somebody, slow somebody down from making something fair. Could have been this masculine. Okay? And yet, again, these are the people that are at church with some of you on Sunday and Wednesday. But they wanted to stop somebody from being able to move forward to make something balanced and fair. Help me understand. They don't need to be talking about no spirituality, nothing. They don't need to be saying nothing. Because how the hell are you going to try to, how the hell they going to try to stop somebody from trying to, for the very far few and in between motherfuckers on the earth that actually do try to make proper amends and to go forward and to make things right and to yet stand in the way to try to stop that? How do those two things go together? They don't need to be saying nothing. And I do mean that, nothing. They certainly don't need to be teaching nothing. They don't need to be talking about they praying, laying hands, nothing. They don't need to be doing nothing. Except for trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with them. still left that want to be decent and want to become decent people. There's some people that want to be able to change. But then you got the low lives. They don't need to be talking. Three of 
Three of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, they enter, they don't want this person's shifts to come in to be able to make something right, or they tried to block the plans. This could have happened in the past. Child. Yep. Shit did not go well. I got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. These people are getting bad karma for this. Okay, what they were hiding was that they were just basically trying to save their own asses, that this shit was one-sided, that they could care less. Sorry if this is hurtful, but it's the truth. They could care less. They can fucking care less. They were trying to save their own asses. Eight of Swords reverse, Tower reverse. Wheel of Fortune reverse. So it created bad karma. Probably put this person in a position of getting back from because this is what happened when you fuck with low lives. They were hiding that they were a karmic. Some of these people knew. I'll just go on a record to say that. Some of these people in this scenario actually knew that they were karmics because they play with this arena. Since they play with this arena, they actually knew. But what they decided to do is they wanted to do that Ursa Sea Witch shit, swap and switch games. Because they wanted to be a divine feminine. That's usually the case. They were trying to steal a whole nother motherfucker's destiny. They didn't give a fly fuck about whoever this man is for the collective. They never did. They don't actually don't even like him. Okay. See, this is the part that I be trying to tell folks. If you don't wake the fuck up, you're going you gonna to get tricked a whole lot more times. People are desperate. COVID came, it only amplified the desperation. People became even more desperate than they already were. So project sabotage commenced. People used this economic stimulus and shit to invest in fuckery. So they can further man trap and woman trap. Let's go buy a perfect ass and tits. Let's go buy this. Let's go do that. Let's go. And then we can surely get them trapped. Let's suppose this business deal is full of shit and holes, bitch. Criminal ass. Two of Cups reversed. There was no love. There was no love. None. They were fake friends, fake partners, fake lovers. They didn't want this man to have a legit Two of Cups. They could have known about the Two of Cups situation and hid it. Tried to morph into the actual love the man's life it can't be done there comes with a heavy price some of y'all out there some of them they know now they crying <laughs> they cry now what was hidden, that this wasn't wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups in the reverse. What was hidden, what they hid is like they had no intention on being this man's true wish fulfillment. They had no intention on providing wish fulfillment. They have addictions beyond what the man even know. They're getting their jollies off other places and that's next to the truth. Boom. Ace of Swords. 
That's the truth. The truth is they got problems. They broke, confused. They wanted to block somebody from being able to travel, eight of wands. That's the truth. They did this probably with some corrupt government, business, legal, some narcissistic fucks. It was poor investments, I told you. This is what was hidden. Poor planning strategies that they were always planning to fuck up this person's life. Finances, investments. They didn't want this man to be able to have nothing to be able to, uh, to reap the fruit. And they was doing this with spell work. Look at next to the devil. Boom, bitch. Ah, uh, yeah. They were doing blinding spells on him, binding spells, all sorts of shit to make him attached, to make him not able to see. To hide shit. They were hiding shit. But they're fucking karmic. And they lack self-development. They're thieves. That's what they are. I don't give a fuck no more. It's like too bad. People gotta learn the truth. And they, I don't care. They go to church and they go to race and it don't matter. They know what they've done. They know who they are and they know what they do. Ace of Wands, Four of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, they could have even, like I said, this motherfucker crazy. They hid that they was crazy. They're unwell. Some of these people could have hid that they got messed around and got something out there. Because see, with this kind of lifestyle in the middle, Staying on that kind of path, at some point, when people don't get that sex thing under check, under wraps, and again, this is not judgment. We all got a story, y'all. Don't go there. But this is the this is the consequence. If we don't get that shit under wraps, and we think this shit cool. You know, this is the fantasy. Ooh, bitch. Ooh. It's the fantasy until it ain't the fantasy. It's the fantasy until you got crazy people knocking on your door won't leave you the fuck alone. How about that? It's the fantasy until they crazy husband and wife knocking at your door. Or they crazy baby mama, baby daddy, or whoever. It's fun until they crazy ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Till you got weirdos showing up at your job. Huh. It's fun up until then. It's fun up until you got weird shit showing up at your doorstep. Huh? It's fun until you go to the doctor. It's fun until somebody come in here talking about being pregnant. And it was supposed to be all fun and games. It was supposed to be a party. It was supposed to be just a fulfilled fantasy life. You heard? Nobody was supposed to be trying out churn. But see, this is what we get, huh? If we don't get this kind of shit in check, it will get us. Eventually. Some people, like I said, they got into this energy. They're already desperate, no self-esteem having individuals. So they started plotting man traps and women traps, okay? 
I'll be their fantasy. If I be their fantasy, this is how I'll get my foot in the door. I'll look like a dream come true until it becomes a living fucking nightmare. When you can't shake their crazy family, it won't leave you alone. People calling you. Or are they crazy exes and this one and this one and that one. It's like, man, all of this. They were always trying to put an end to some of y'all. They didn't want y'all to have happiness. They were trying to so-called uh, put an end to the competition. What could have ended up happening, this man broke up or put an ending with these connections here that they thought was gonna be their happiness. That's what they thought, only to discover, nah, this shit is crazy. This, this is an ice cold bitch. Queen of Swords reverse, a lion, ice cold bitch, straight up. That was jealous, she's defeated, she's done. You're done. No longer an option, seven of cups reverse. In the, in the past, these people kept creating fights and shit so that somebody couldn't get out. So that somebody would have to stay stuck. All right, ancestors, what y'all want me to do now? I'm gonna wrap this up. Ah, all right, let's grab them. And we are done. So this is what they were hiding. They were always, this was a one-sided situation. They were always planning betrayal. They're emotionally codependent. They're drug addicts. They're sex addicts. They're fakes. They're thieves. They're frauds. They don't love you. They never did. They practice satanic ritual. They try to sacrifice innocent lives. They do this. And they've been doing it, and they go to church on Sunday and Wednesday. They're the leader of prayer meetings, choirs, Reiki circles, but they have a secret life of doing this weird nigga bitch shit. And they were always planning. Sorry about that. They were always plotting that shit, okay? That's what they were hiding. Since this seemed to be about this masculine that came out, that's what they've been hiding. That it was always a plan from the beginning. The shit that they tried to make look like happenstance and situational, and that was all a part of the illusion and the trick just to keep you confused and stuck and unsure. That it wasn't just the oops, I just had a bad night and I overreacted. They hear that they have real severe mental problems and not the way you and I do, or the mass majority of the population of the world, niggles. Stress, a little stress here, a little anxiety here. No, these people are killers. So I think this go far beyond a little niggle. These people do sick shit. This goes beyond a little niggle. Okay, this ain't a little bit, a little, a little stress, a little anxiety. Right? No, they crazy. Criminally insane. They should be put away. And the people that they run with.
they need to go look at why they okay with being fucked up. I don't care what nobody say. I want them to sit down with the same Bible that they're carrying around as some kind of badge. I want them to open that. I want them to, you know, since this is this a uniform. Where it's okay to do fucked up shit to people, especially innocent lives. I want them to justify it since they want to be the leader of the prayer meeting. tower out of the tarot decks that I have this is my favorite tower <laughs> because it's indicative the collective y'all gonna find your footing on solid ground is they ask the suspense to be coming out the windows and it's gonna come as a surprise this this secret this spell work that they do these dark witches and warlocks and Satanists or whatever they call themselves, they little groups and posses best to have a nice little tower. Twenty-two. So if they're here, I hope they're just already getting their affairs in order. If they're here, just this is. <laughs> Reverse, there's the dark witch. It could be them that's supposed to get a tower. Ooh, what's supposed to the go down? A bad karma. Ooh, oh, they, ooh, page of cups, five of pentacles. They being cut out. They're gonna lose some money, child. They're gonna be cursed, bitch. Ah, somebody's gonna tell them, sorry, Laura. Ooh, it's, it could be that's going to be an altercation. They're not going to be able to defend themselves or they're going to be feeling vulnerable. People are going to be walking away, eight of cups. People are going to be standoffish to them. Maybe not wanting to give them money, five of pentacles. Two of cups. Somebody is defending a two of cups situation against them. Oh, okay. We're asking about what their bad karma is. I'm just gonna, I'll just put it like this. This is death. This is sickness. Patience in the reverse. This is loss of stability. Somebody could be cutting them off and moving forward. Because we're asking about their back karma, right? So these people, whoever these people were that was keeping all this, this secret shit. Yes, seven of cups. Here it is. There's that spell work. High priestess in the reverse. Confusion. They're going to get confused by their own rituals. They're going to get sick. With their, at their own hand. Ain't that a trip? All these people at their own hand. See, that's what they get. That's what they get. They were told to stop a long time ago. Six of wands in the reverse. Loser. 
Can we say moss? They're gonna suffer some moss. It's gonna be at their own hand. This is insane. Their refusal to quit. So it's gonna be at their own hand. Eight of swords, some of them could be either going to jail or they're gonna feel stuck. It's like a stuckness. Either they're gonna go to jail or they're gonna feel stuck or it's also purgatory. Something could happen maybe in the energetic world to them for what they do, all these violations. The sun in the reverse, that's unhappiness with this three of swords coming out. It's kind of wanting to be in the reverse, not all together. Yeah, because somebody's happily walking away from them. Eight of cups, no longer going to be participating in betrayals. Yeah, that's a breakup. I got the lovers coming out in the reverse. They're done. They're gonna be sick, yo. Four swords, they gonna be haunted. You see how it is in this depiction? She in the bed holding her stomach and them hands is creeping up. All that shit these motherfuckers did to people, they fencing to get a visit. Shit they did to make people sick because motherfuckers don't want them no more and shit. They may be under investigation. They may go to jail for attempted murder for some of you. They may be put, oh, child, or put in a mental institution because of the, this investigation. Because maybe there is an investigation of their practices or what they do or the people, oh, child. Three plus people could be fencing to get in trouble. Or their involvement with this. Ooh, page of swords coming out in the reverse for hiding what they did to somebody here. They're trying to hide that they jumped people or beat up somebody or trying to hide evidence. Ooh, wee. they about to take a hit. And all of that participating in that, they finna get a hit. This is happening, Kathy. They about to take a hit now. You want to be fucked up, so be prepared for fucked upness to come back on your door. Yeah, Emperor in the reverse, they're about to lose control. They're about to lose it. Four of Wands in reverse, they're about to lose all their stability. This could be a commitment, a family, a house. Their shit is about to be rocked straight up. These people like to play with people, so they're about to see, get a taste of what it feels like to have their shit fucked up. Yeah, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna go down. It's gonna be an altercation. They tend to experience chaos and conflict and sleepless nights. They're in fear now. This nine of swords, this torture energy, they're about to be exposed for torturing people and they're about to be dealt with for it. Two of swords in the reverse, that's exposure. Causing chaos and conflict, jealousy and envy, torturing people, doing shit to people, tormenting, stalking, lying, rituals. All they ask is this fence to go down, motherfuckers. Get going. They're about to be rejected, four cups. And their shit that they're doing, like I said, this is gonna happen in a unique way. This is gonna be at their own hand. Their refusal to stop is gonna ricochet, reject it back at them, so they're going to inherit everything that they've been doing to the High Five Collective. They're not gonna be able to recover. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Because of their stubbornness, their resistance to change and transformation, and their attempts to stop other people from being able to do the same, they're not gonna be able to recover. 
for trying to unaliven people constantly and all this weird nigga bitch shit. Fucking with people's physicality and business, they finna be wrecked. So I ain't trying to get shit. Yes, yeah, over. There it is. It's over. They're about to experience forced endings. The world, four of wands. If they put an ending, let me just say this for those, for the low lives that had anything to do with putting an ending to an actual masculine or a twin, they are in for a surprise. Okay, that's for a few of you, okay? I know not everybody, a person died, okay? But for most of them, it's a masculine that's putting, it's over. It's over, and these people are going to pay for the shit. This is also investigation. King of Swords. Whatever they were doing over and over again. Gonna throw a bird in the mouth. <laughs> someone else's stability, someone else's destiny, these people are going to be wrecked. So remember I told y'all, but understand that whatever's going down, they were some fucked up people. And now they're trying to run the religion so nobody don't see how fucked up they were. Yeah. The universe is going to snap, yay, <laughs> yeah, six of pentacles reverse. The universe is going to hand them back, yeah, they're going to hand them back their energy. You were fucked up, that's who you are, so we're going to reflect this to you. You're fucked up, you are unfair, you're stingy, you're greedy. You're entitled. Huh? You didn't want somebody to create balance. You didn't want, they didn't want somebody to create balance collectively. They didn't want somebody to bring something into balance. So the universe is going to show them something. You don't want, they don't want somebody to bring balance. So then they're going to stick in it. They don't want something to be made right and fair for the collective, so the universe is going to make sure they experience that same energy. And they're going to be crying to everybody who listen. Talking about it ain't fair, and the universe is going to be smiling back at them and says, ah, but ain't this the energy that you like operating in? You like being unfair to people. You like being full of unjust behavior. So, you put this out there. Imbalances, so imbalance is what you get. You created imbalance, imbalance is what we're gonna get and we don't care where you run. Matter of fact, anybody who gets too close to you will eventually experience the same shit. 